on here at the Caprivi. We've got two bowls over there by the Botswana border. Ace let me borrow his 500 double. So I will be playing backup roll today. This is definitely a dangerous game, but we got a good shooter on the sticks. Never hurts to have a 500 double. I'm trying to hunt a buffalo. I'm really nervous. I've never hunted this dangerous of an animal before, but I have faith in my pH and everybody around me that's trying to help me get one. Ace spots this herd and we decide to go after him. We're crawling through all these reeds. You can't even see two feet in front of you. You can hear him snorting and moving around in the reeds. My heart is pounding in my ears. and we go through the reeds and we get up on a big herd working their way into Botswana. We catch up with them right in time and over this rise there's a nice bull. There's this cow. She comes straight towards us. And I tell you what, it's similar to a lot of species. They're usually meaner than the bulls. She's so close to us. I've never been that close to a buffalo before. I've heard all the horror stories about how mean they are. And my adrenaline is pounding.
We thought we were going to get on a bull, but the cows always come first, and unfortunately, she checked us out. So, now yeah, we're like, over what, on 12 the yards? border. <laughs> yeah. I'm still in shock how close she got. That was a little bit scary. She didn't really like us. <laughs> no. no. Wasn't super happy. <laughs> I was doing the one eye out the side, <laughs> finger on the gun. <laughs> She was, was going to hook me first. I was like, should we shoot yet to protect ourselves? <laughs> waiting for Ace to tell us what to shoot. Well, I was trying to lay all the way down, but be ready to grab my gun in case she came. Yeah. Or get out of your way so you, so you didn't hurt my ears as you yeah. shot over my head. I was just head. thinking, <sighs> shove somebody in front of me. That's yeah. what we flew here for, <laughs> though. It's an experience, man. Yeah, there's there's going to be another big I'm, old bull. Unfortunately, yeah. there's rules and regulations yeah. here, and they just outside of our hunting area. We were just waiting for them to cross, I mean, another 20 yards. Proudly sponsored by Spot Hog, the world's toughest archery products. Sounds Executive right. Outdoor Adventures, Pinnacle Hunting Supplies, the best of the West shooting system, featuring the Huskamaw Advantage, Traeger Wood Pellet Grills. Solid dust. We saw thousands and thousands of zebras. It's so overpopulated with zebras here that there's not even enough food for the young zebra. So this is where it's really important for hunting conservation to play its part. Get here early in the mornings for buffalo, but there's so many Chapman zebra here, it's unbelievable. They've got to be overpopulated. So I think we might shoot a couple came here, all that meat feeds villages, and it's another species of zebra that I have not been able to hunt before, so I'm pretty excited to be here in the Caprivi. So guys at Pinnacle, we sell Best of the West for a reason. They're just so accurate. It's a long range system, but out here in Africa, you never know if you're gonna have a 900 yard shot or a 160 yard shot. But this new 300 PRC has been lights out on every Plains game animal we've tried it on. And that's what we're out here for, to make quick, ethical kills. And this is a great caliber for Africa. We brought that, a 375 H&H, &H, which is the minimum requirement for some of the stuff we're hunting. We also brought a 6.5 PRC, so it's gonna be a great week out here. We're gonna have some short shots, some long shots. And I don't care what, whether you're shooting 120 or 1,000, the more precise your weapon is, the better off you are. And I mean, these are surgical. What a beautiful old stallion. Oh, thank you, Africa. Thank you, Namibia. This country has been so amazing to hunt in. I'm so blessed to be able to come over here and have these kind of people to hunt with. And the way they manage game here makes it possible. But without hunters being here managing game, we'd lose everything. And every one of these animals, how beautiful it is, has a cycle here, has a purpose here. The old stallion, I promise you this old stallion has killed a bunch of babies trying to stay dominant. But not only that, we're going to skin this animal. This animal is going to go feed people. It's about protein. It's about utilizing everything about your harvest in Africa. You know, everybody thinks it's only trophy hunting. The trophies are the experience for me. They're beautiful. I'm going to take them all home with them. Every part of the zebra is going to go somewhere. But the fact that there's going to be people eating healthy, fresh harvested protein tonight, thanks to my best of the West, that's what it's all about. 
thank you Shapunga Kumbako and Omu Yevi. Yeah, it's kind of a new group they've teamed up with. So these guys have anything, anywhere in Namibia you want to hunt. It's just unbelievable. I brought two people out here that have dreamt about coming to Africa. And you have high expectations, but they have been blown away. Every piece of that zebra is all there, all intact, because they eat every part of it. So it's going to be fun to watch them come over here and get them some protein. Part of conservation. Proudly sponsored by Matthews. Wilderness Athlete. Fuel for the rugged Low T Center. Reinventing men's health. Mortgage Financial Services. Set your course toward home ownership. National Roper Supply. NRSWorld.com. Kuyu Ultra Light Hunting. A spots this older Virgil stallion, and I decide that I'm gonna to try to get a shot at him. They kept moving and moving, and he keeps hiding amongst all the other zebras. So it takes a little while to finally get a good shot. Yeah. He's the one in the back now. No, he moved forward. And it's on two, that's right. Yeah, you're good. Okay. It's too hot. Okay. Bosses say no? Okay, there's your shot. Oh, that rocked you. <laughs> nice shot. Congratulations, baby. He has a beautiful what? head. Yeah, he's beautiful. beautiful. His head is beautiful. Fantastic, beautiful ears. Beautiful face, beautiful mane. Well done. I'm not high fiving, I'm hugging. <laughs> you did. Thanks, Ben. Let me shoot a zebra. Sure. Enjoy your last animal. <laughs> He's getting good, baby. Whatever. Um, you got right, a beautiful zebra. We're going to go feed some people. They are excited about more meat, weren't they? Yeah, they are. When are we bringing some more? Tonight? They're not greedy, but they like a lot. Beautiful. Yes, beautiful. beautiful zebra. Well, we've been out here all day. We're looking for buffalo, but there's still part of a full moon, so it's been really hard trying to spot some buffalo. They've all been hanging out on the Botswana side. But we've been seeing tons and tons of zebra. And it's super dry this year. There's not a lot of feed. The old stallions and the old mares to let the younger ones grow and have food. And the best part about it is none of this animal is gonna go to waste. I'm gonna keep it tied and all the meat we're gonna take back to the village. There's so many people here that are starving. They're not, unfortunately, they're not allowed to hunt. So they rely on us hunters. And so it just, it's really special to me to be able to, to feed everybody and, and give them some. It's just a really special day. Thanks to everybody for helping me. It's good to see these people to come here and uh, especially they are looking for the trophy hunting. And therefore, we are getting at least money for ourselves, getting income. You see, zebras and buffaloes, they are one of the 
species which has a popular here in, uh, in Bamunu Conservancy. You see, when they are coming, these people, they are giving us money so that we can do our business here. And uh, we are looking forward for them to come and more and more in the many years to come. This is really very good to see them here in Bamunu Conservancy. I'm doing a lot of meat too. <laughs> so, and this meat, you know, will be taken to the villages and the people they are waiting for, the, for it so that they can get in some, so that they can eat and uh, feed the young ones and the young ones will be, you know, the next generation to come. So here is to the first Americans back in Namibia this year. We just barely made it. I'll but drink to that. We're, we're back. Yeah. And I want a bunch of you to get back and we're just so thankful and yes. grateful for this country and getting to come hunt here and what you guys do and we we're, we're grateful to have you guys here man. It's been a tough year. Yeah. And yes. on a lovely day. Successful. Yeah, Cheers day. to twenty twenty one. We look like coal miners we but do. And all the dust, but great. It's it was good fun. hundred and ten degrees. <laughs> great day. The huntress, the provider, provide meat, huh? Yeah. Look at these guys. Want some meat? Tracker brought some meat. Hello. Hi. Muti. Onyama. Look here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We have to pull it Get his leg up underneath that chair. Thank you, man. It's raining. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Enjoy the meat. What you're doing, Jay? Well, we're glassing some elephant here. Ace spots this herd of elephants, and he knows I love taking pictures, so he tells me to get on top of the truck, and he's gonna drive closer to see if we can get some awesome shots. All of a sudden, one of the females turns around and trumpets. She starts charging the truck. And all of her girls are following straight behind her. And I've seen this before. I've seen them come and kind of just check us out. But these, these girls mean business. Great for the other. Maybe there's a, there's a small one, which is the smallest thing. Plan that is. No. We can plan that. <laughs> you want to go take pictures? I'll show you pictures. Did you get a crop in your mouth? Yes. Uh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> I was vomiting in my mouth.
if they come out with their ears, then then it's like an intimidation thing. Mm -hmm. But when they put their ears back and put their head down like that. So we are pretty much would have been dead if we would have been on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I just about passed out. <laughs> We just came closer to film some of the elephants and they have a baby and they did not like the truck. But I definitely felt safer being on the truck than on the ground. <laughs> and you see where I'm at, I keep Crystal in front of me when the elephants charge. <laughs> Somebody has to survive to tell the story. What did you say earlier? There's the young one. There's the young one. There's the young one. That's why Second we couldn't see him. Mm, he is tiny, huh? Oh, uh, they were just trying to protect him.